Can I have my elbow space, kitty kitty? Thank you. Hello. I'm gonna shot you. Don't do that. Mm, a little bit of work on the base. Are you slabbering on the desk? Why is my arm wet? What are you doing? Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, meds, MREs. Here we go. You got news? What's up? How are you? What kind of news? What you got? Okay. I'm gonna be moving in a month. Jesus Christ, I got a lot of shit. Out of Finn got his nuts back. <laughs> that would not be good news if you paid to have him taken off and then suddenly they just grew back. That poor animal would have to have him taken off again. Oh, that would be mean. Why is it door locked still? I redid a whole bunch of stuff. You're gonna have to re put the stuff in. I was reorganizing and redoing stuff. That some things had to be broken. What the hell? Benny. Uh, party invite? Yeah, I, I, I told you. I, I rearranged everything. I worked on a lot of stuff and things. Yeah. What? What are you doing, kitty kitties? Tempting. Detecting a little bit of lag. I'm not sure exactly why. Kitty kitty. Stop doing the things. You're gonna push something off the desk. And that's oh. when we have to start having a fight. Uh, did I do a kill all when I first logged in? No, I did not. Hey. You ain't let me do enough on this book. Hold on. I may not have put a lock on it. <laughs> I just killed Hugh. <laughs> and there's no zombies on the map. It's chill. Okay, so that's not it. But are you recording? Yes, I am recording. Uh, which door? One upstairs. Which one upstairs? The one... Oh, okay. Yes, what? Which one? Because I got two up here. Your doctor was helpful. No, that one doesn't go outside. Nowhere. No. It was it was the spot where the elevator was. There's really no purpose in it, so the door is more decorative than anything. Sadly, we don't have decorative doors. I'm probably gonna do the same thing to this too, unless I can figure out something for it. Are you moving somewhere? That was loud as hell. Oh, hey, Chaplin! <laughs> okay, I was gonna say it's either that or someone shot a gun right next to me. <laughs> huh. This one went where? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I went to 
else do we need for the horde? I'm gonna leave these doors open right here for whenever Gray shows up for the horde. Maybe to get back and forth. Uh, I was wanting to make traps and stuff, but I don't think I have anything for that. Like, do I have uh, electrical fence posts I can make? Okay, I'll make some of those. Mm. Forge iron, forge iron. Do we have any in here? Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, we do have a horde night coming in in just a few minutes. If anybody else is wanting to get onto the server for the horde, it would be a good time to go ahead and climb in and get your stuff in order before the horde. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Do I have an uh, electrical thing majig here? Yes, I do. Can I make a generator? Yes, I can. I need to forge iron. Let me grab some of that. Some electrical. Books it should be in the cell box. No, it's just a regular box. Eleven. I don't think we'll need eleven. Let's do six. And now I need some mechanical. Craft that, and how many engines do we have? Over here. No. Tools? Yeah. Two. Why am I carrying beer? Uh, not food. It is maids. Seven more boxes I need to set down. I'm gonna redo all of my boxes. That's what I was working on, but I ran out of time. Because beer is good and yummy? Ew. <laughs> uh, Mills ready to eat. Mills ready to eat. Raw food that needs to be made into something else for it to be edible, or at least better than edible. Then that would be MREs. A lot of the cans that have the ability to be turned into a better meal are not in the MREs. What in the hell you got about it? So the cans don't go in it? No. Not all of them. Chicken rations, because chicken rations can't be made into anything else, can definitely go in there. Any other foods that don't get made into anything else can go in there, like uh, pears can go in there, cat food can go in there. Can of pasta, can, of pasta can be made into spaghetti. That actually make it that confusing. Now, it might be confusing in the fact that I haven't exactly fully organized it, so that might be confusing. Well, it's food. You are going to roll into my arm and knock everything off the desk. Uh, jars. Meow. Wait. You didn't want my attention till I sat at the desk. Spaghetti, exactly. Spaghetti. Mm. Did you stack it somewhere? 
They probably win the tools. And then check the weapons. Those are the only two places it would have gone. Give me the generator! Robert just came in and asked why Bam looked so confused, so I told him to just listen to you. <laughs> He's having to deal with my organization. Whenever it comes to certain things, since Bam is like a mechanic, whenever it comes to like doing the tools, the uh, miscellaneous stuff, and the engine stuff, he wants to lump them differently because he's a mechanic and he sees those as mechanical items, whereas in the game, because this is how I know these items, I know all of these mechanical items and stuff go into the miscellaneous box and engines and stuff because they are a component inside something else and don't need to be worked on and are not actually a component of another thing unless of course you're making a bike. They go into a different box. He and I just have different ways of organizing things. That's all. Uh, do we have... I don't think I have any conduits. Um, I have... No conduits! Um, relays. I don't need a timer relay for these. Let me just get two of those. I just have a particular way of organizing. Uh, oh, and the, the part he was actually confused about was the food, because all the food that can go into another food, I put it inside one thing where it's not complete, so I don't accidentally use food that can be made into a better food. No, it's not oh, yeah. some bullshit. It would be like me going into our actual kitchen and sticking sugar in the refrigerator and telling everybody just stick it on a plate and eat it. Obviously it's food, eat it that way. You put sugar in other things to actually, first off, make it not okay, just sugar. Well, not everybody knows that you can take chicken, pasta, stuff, make it You can't take chicken, but you can take pasta. I know you don't know, but I know, and therefore I feel the need to organize it. I just spent our last time taking <laughs> <laughs> get so frustrated. <laughs> like, yeah, we're not we're not doing this again. <laughs> oh, where do I put the electricity at? Um. That was just whatever popped in my head while I was doing it. Hey, buddy, you look thirsty. Why don't you get out? Should I, I feel like there needs to be like a. Right here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, move the camera down. Actually, if we're in this one, what I could do is put my camera... And you'll be able to see the bottom part of the chat. You just won't be able to see what's going on in the team. Actually, that's a bad spot too. Never mind. I don't really care to have the overlay. I'm thinking about already redesigning it. I think that's in the right spot. I may have to make one that accommodates for the chat. Huh? I know, I heard. That's the reason I said, huh? I did the thing. Can I pick that one back up? Yes. Okay. I want it right there, which means putting this one right there, which means. Oh, that's gonna hurt me, but alright, that's fine. You know what, I'll get all of that stuff taken care of later. I'll make sure it's even on both sides next time. Um, I need... Oh, 
I don't know, I may have made them all into cement. I mean, I did do some mining, but I think I, I crafted stuff with them. So... What did I come up here for? <laughs> I didn't mean to, that was my point. I didn't mean to. Hmm? I don't... Okay, I'll do it like this. What's up, Greg? How you doing? Just so you know, yeah, I'm gonna catch out. <laughs> I think you're a little paranoid. Yeah. Slightly. I know somebody's gonna be after me in a bit. Uh, after work, I thought. What's up? What's up? How's stuff? How's things? What the hell are you doing? Making a mess. I should have done it this way for the first one too. Electrical trap. There we go. That's a little bit better. No, I gotta turn it on first. I didn't the last one. Yes, it will electrocute them. He's going out there to fix it when they break? Uh, I'll do it. Probably not. Uh, I don't think these are probably going to survive this horde. That's fine. Actually. Um, uh, that's up to you. I don't have any gas in my inventory. Uh-oh. Running out of time. Okay, do not go across the thing. Those are... Yeah, they're on. Live wires, yeah. Okay, now I've got to get all the stuff and things I need. I need, I need a drop box really quick. Drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. I might need that. Drop those. How did that even get in my inventory? I don't know. I have all of my guns. I don't need the shovel. I'll keep my pickaxe in case I need it. And... repair kits. Uh, do I have any? Uh, no. I don't think I have any. Uh, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. Um, ah, what am I doing? Repair kits. I can craft 18 in my pocket. Yeah. Do I need anything else? Health. Health, 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 health. I will make it. <laughs> uh, I've already filled up on food, right? No, I have not. And take those and some first aid and just in case I have to go outside. Uh, I will put these right here. Okay, I am ready. <sighs> Been a rough, stressful start. Danny yesterday. Been doing deliveries most of the day. We did three stores today and we have three more tomorrow, then back to Indiana. Ouch. Yeah, that seems very stressful. That's a whole lot of traveling. Did 
I have a turret? I've got more than one playthrough, so I'm like, I don't remember exactly what it is I'm, I'm gonna do. Uh, let's be we weapons. Um, do I have one? I got a tier two. I do have enough time to run it out there. <laughs> Actually, I might be able to just squeeze it, like, right... There. Ah! That's not what I meant to do. My bad. <laughs> two weeks out, two days home. Ouch. That, that's painful right there. Here we go. Am I trying to kill us? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm still covering the bottom. There we go. I hope that's enough. shot where his head was supposed to be, he did not make it. Quick, somebody, he needs a hand. That's a bad joke. That was a bad joke. <laughs> They're wonderfully cheesy. No! That's one of the French girls. Paint her like one of your French girls. What am I aiming at? Is van building? You're building right now? Hi, ma'am. How are you? Okay, apparently that dude's dead. And he is standing in the way. And so is she. Okay, that one was by accident. <laughs> you were giving him a choice of hands? <laughs> All right. That's awful kind of you. Not only were you giving him a hand, but you gave him a choice of which kind. Being all dramatic, you just stood at the stairs and just stared down here like I know better. I'm not coming down there. Oh no, I hold six. No, 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 no. Why is she coming to your near in a horde? My blood feels frosty and my wiener tingles again. Okay. 
Okay. What is going on? Okay, whenever she comes around, like, my crossbar gets really, really wide. I'm assuming that has to do with tingling. Everybody focus fire on the Banshee Queen, please. Where the hell'd she go? Back on, woman! Okay, everybody reload. Man! Wait, do we have... Uh, do you have to have... Oh, none of mine have the, the disable the regen thing. She keeps falling off, yeah. Uh, does anybody have a ram remover on their weapon? I think that's supposed to stop her from regening for a short time, but I don't know. You do. Okay. Yeah, she's regening by the time she gets back up to us. There's some inside the box. I didn't take it all. Uh, this right, we're gonna have a hard time killing her unless we've got something that does a whole lot of damage at one time. Anybody got a rocket launcher? Get off of her face! It's like trying to protect her or something. No, she keeps falling down. Okay, what the hell just happened? Choose where you're gonna be at, lady! Okay. <laughs> she is so hard to kill. Dang on it. When she falls, can you still shoot her? Okay, I'm gonna try and help you. That way we can keep, uh, we can keep fire on her. Uh, where, where the hell? There she is. at the very end. Come over here with me. Uh, she's on the bottom floor? I don't see her. Oh, there she is. No, I need to repair. I need to repair. Uh, use this weapon. Uh, I'm trying to keep the damage on her, but she's not making it upstairs. Oh, they're gonna break that. Uh, I need to fix that. Excuse me! Fix, fix, fix! I don't have any- I don't have any repair materials! What am I doing? Run! <laughs> okay, I was thinking about the other series where I don't have to carry the repair materials because I can pull it from my box. My bad. Let me go grab some. Uh, no, dynamite will take out the bottom of the beast, but if you've got, like, other kinds of, uh, yeah, but you're more likely to explode yourself. Okay. Blah, 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 
ba 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 Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We're gonna lose our pathing if I don't get over here and fix it. You guys quit breaking this thing. Oh, jeez. Down here with me. Okay, get off of that. Okay. All right, I fixed the path. Oh, the Banshee Queen's over here. Ow, 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 ow. She just slapped me upside the head. Now. Get off the ladder. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How you doing, Seth? I can hear her. She was back behind me in the garage area. And I think it's because we were both running around and stuff and she got confused about where to go. Speaking of which, I need a heal. Just experiment a few times, I'm pretty sure we'll eventually figure it out. Though, do not throw it when there's a bird near you because if it contacts that bird, it will explode in your face. It explodes on contact. I saw an explosion. Did you pull the pin? Experiment with your buttons. I know it for muscle memory. I don't know how to tell you. No, they're breaking it again! <gasps> no! She- Oh! Oh, I saw what you did there. I saw what you did there. My escape out the back, they poked a hole in it. Hold on, they're gonna break the bridge again. What the heck are they doing? Okay. Get off of this. Daytime? <gasps> she just one shot me. <laughs> yeah. She got tired of my crap. <laughs> well, it was probably not a one shot. I was probably damaged. I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to fill her full of bullets. That's what he said. here yeah I did hold on I'm coming right back up <laughs> it's not a horde night unless you go down there and dance with the zombies a little bit that happens oh she's supposed to try and break through I got like 39 bullets left. Uh, I almost did it again. I hope not. I'm just gonna run over to the box and see if I can find some more. Uh, I don't have. Hold on, there's no stack right there. We gotta figure out a way of doing more damage to her. Do you still have those grenades? We're calling actual screamers. Come on, shoot her! Freaking lag! Holy hell! I only gave her 50 bullets! Sorry, kind of aggressive. Growing a penis does that to me. Or a wiener, as they said. Come on! 
No, no, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't you walk away from us. Ah! Sorry. Here. Oh, my God. I'm just gonna get shocked. No, no, you don't. Don't you go down here and heal. Ah! Terrified you rashly damaged she broke my weapon? She did. Yeah, her head's popped off. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that item needs to be fixed now? Are you kidding me? No! Don't you do it! You asshole. She called, though. I might want to hold off on using any more ammo, though, because I'm just going to call in more of them. Hi, dude. Are you gathering stuff? Okay. I'll go around and start killing zombies. Oh, I got another screamer. No, you don't. She actually dead though. No, she screamed anyway. Can I please get this weapon fixed? Uh, okay, <laughs> he's just gonna ignore me. <laughs> he just kept walking. Okay. Good heavens, I cannot believe. What the hell? The door out the back way, they just knocked a hole right there. All I did was open the door, step through, and fell straight through it. That banshee coming during the horde is kind of a pain. There's another, another screamer? Turn this off. Bye. I don't know if she called. Here's another guy. What answer? Get, oh, sh there's another one in the back back there. Got her. I think we should be good. I think. to go in there and adjust her health because oh my gosh her ability to fall out of it and regen is so serious between all of us we had a lot of bullets and she ate most of them She kept dropping and heal every time I hit her. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't until we were able to get out because the rest of the zombies were down uh, to get out and actually chase her around so she quit running off and healing. So she's basically, unless you can figure out a way of doing constant damage to her, she's basically unkillable during the horde. She's just there to wreck your crap. Okay, well that's going to require a whole lot more manufacturing of ammo. A whole lot more. So can you do a can of chili? Chili dogs. So it's not good. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you want to eat one of them, it's not like the end of the world or anything else like that. It's just it's that's better. how I organize them, and a chili dog has more health than just a can of chili. I, I'm tired of I ain't never seen. Just whenever you hold, whenever you click on a can, 
If it has a another recipe that it can be made with, it will have an icon that says recipes. If it can't be made into a recipe, recipe will not show up on that can. Okay. Hey, if I kill Reaper, where the hell is my coin? Maybe knock her health by half. Still a decent amount, so she's not just a bullet bullet eating sponge. Yeah, no kidding. Especially since she can heal up. But there's a couple of times I swear we probably should have killed her, even if she was like a boss zombie just because of how many bullets we put into her. <sighs> Do it. Where's my coin? Your coin? Yeah, I killed somebody. Where's my coin? Did you stack it? Because I have a box over there with them in there. Did you stack yours? Maybe. Well, then that's where it went. Um, Do you have any more 762 on you? Any more stacks of it? Because I could, I've got like 39. I don't care if you heard me. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let me get all this stuff in the way. Not drinks, Smiths. Well, I didn't need drinks. Uh, I, I put this stuff inside my inventory, so if I started running around in the horde, I would, could drink it first, and I did not drink any of it. Right, maybe you didn't sneak up on the butt. I thought you did. I didn't have a little bit, but that's okay. I'll shoot you back. I'm gonna go through the weapons box and get some stuff sold, get some monies. Uh, drop that. Oh, no, we're not all the stone was made into uh, stuff. There's stone in here. Inside the miscellaneous. Oh, look harder. <laughs> uh, I don't think clay is supposed to be in here. That's not supposed to be in here. That's not either. I mean, it is for glass, but I, I don't usually use it for that. I use it for that. So where are you stacking them? I mean, I only got one kilo, so it's not that big. Um, just find you an empty box up here. Uh, mine is in the second one. Look through the boxes. So you got five or one? Huh? You got five of them, take my one back. I didn't know you just stack Yeah, they stack. So how many kills you got? I don't know. Um, I have got six kills. This is mine. That does seem like you are missing yours, unless you stacked it in some other random box. Was there anything good during the horde from the, the bags? Okay, we probably need to put in a separate box so since Gray's helping out, he can also look through the box. Speaking of which, you need to do something about your health. Me? Yeah, you. Have you seen your health? Fix it. Gray stuck somewhere? Did we lock him out somewhere? Oh, it's this one. My bad. Okay. 
no, 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 no. I need... Nails. Hey, you almost got shot, buddy. I thought you were going to You are so damn paranoid. <laughs> Not being devious or nothing. Uh, okay, let me drop that. And that and that. I'm still going through boxes to get rid of stuff and things. Um, I can get with the trash. That can get sold. Sold. This goes in there with the ammo. And of course I need to fix a whole bunch of stuff. So all the repair kits I just fixed are probably gonna get used. that too. And drop that. I don't think I have very many mods to put anything in to anything else, but can do that one, that one, that one, maybe, well, yeah, I could probably do that one too. I think it will go on that one. Okay. Yes. Do your mission. I am going to attempt to go to the traitor and get some monies. Um. We got an extra seat. On my mini bike? No. Oh, well, we do have a rad remover. I just don't have it on one of my weapons for some reason. Why do I, why do I not have it on there? 
What is wrong with me? Good grief. I believe it was mine. I found it. I stole it. <laughs> that's that's true. That's very, very true. Some of these don't even need to have mods in them because they're really not worth having a mod into, but I'm doing it anyway. Taking all those, let me get some food in my system and get going. You were so curious. I was just sharing the password for the base. I was? Because Gray is helping out with the base and if he can't move around the base, it kind of causes a problem. Yeah. Though it occurs to me I was jumping around like a dingus, so there's a chance that there might have been like a split second where somebody might have seen it anyway. Just hoping that nobody has. Anyway, Ryan still frame, zoom in. Why don't you get hydrated? Uh, not during the live stream, but you can go back and watch it. Give an idea. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have a question about the Wasteland series? Go ahead. I'm gonna wait for you. Ah! I'm running into a wall. My bad. Shoves note in pocket. Chaplain, you better lose that. There better be a hole in your pocket and it falls out of your skirt. Solid hole with your panties, you wear. Ah. Women's day, too, for a lot of Oh, also guys, I am probably... I did actually start up a Valheim server, but I am slowly realizing that it's probably not the best idea to do a secondary server right now. The, uh... I know other people have talked about it, but I, I really don't want to bring it up on the channel officially because, well, it's just like depressing news. But anyway, the uh, ad stuff... The income that you make from YouTube on a regular basis is kind of like a third of what it was before. I'm not sure that me continuing the Valheim server is a good idea right now. Should things pick back up, I can start up another server, no problem, but I, I think it might be a better idea to not run it for a while. And I already have it up, which is kind of upsetting because I was like, I'm going to fig figure out a weekend and get it all sorted and get it up ready for everybody to play. And now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't. After seeing what happened the past two months, I am kind of scared to do it. Let everybody get in there and start building and getting into, you know, building up a big settlement. And I'm like, I can't afford to do that anymore. So I might decide to shut down the secondary server. I am still debating. I will let you guys know. Uh, let me go ahead and grab a quest. Gun store is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've got stuff in my... That's mine. Well, well, another survivor. Oh, All I saw was a big damn Not barrel. <laughs> Just don't let this go. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> he doesn't want all of the batons. Are you for serious, dude? I need to go to another trader. I've got enough stuff that I need to do that. I just... I did not mean to sell that. Whoops. For you. Yeah. Okay, we have a deal. Come back. <laughs> oh my god. Best be on your way. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the shot in the body fall right behind me. <laughs> the traitor is supposed to be yeah, a safe zone. Is the traitor the same It's supposed to be. I think it was like an unspoken rule. We hadn't set it in stone, but all well, of us had pretty I'm much said it. If he comes up behind me, hit me. That was a love tap. And in fairness, you said Reaper was on his bike, right? When you shot him. Yeah. 
there another safe zone is when someone is in a vehicle. So y'all are even now. I killed him twice. Oh, you in killed him twice. Zone. Oh, you killed him twice in a safe zone. No, he still owes you one then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you can't do that, dude. Don't sneak up on me. Things to do than stare at the likes of you. <laughs> Oh, my stomach hurts now. That was good. So oh, rot busters. Oh, it's just stuff that we've determined over time, but never made official rules, which I guess we should probably make official rules. Though situations like that are just funny as hell, which is, I guess, the reason we haven't made them an official rule. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know. Oh, that was good. He snuck up on me. They held up posts. I mean, it said we put across the forehead, so I was like, oh shit, he's coming for me. <laughs> I didn't know if he had spikes in the <laughs> Wait, what back. is going on? I don't have any other. Oh, damn. He just ran by and got you. That's right, you put speed on, speed, speed on. But that's okay, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> have I not done any of the. Every single time you finish yeah. one, you get a open trade routes. Have I not opened any other trader with this character, or did I somehow or another erase a save file? I wouldn't have this map though if anyway, I if I did. It's for a good time there, Reaper. Okay, uh, it's time to go down here and find this trader then, because I need another trader to sell to. Uh, my batons? They're 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 not electric batons. They're the pipe batons. Yeah, it's just pipe batons. <sighs> and I appreciate your understanding, Chaplain. I hate to disappoint, but at the same time, I think I would disappoint more if I tried to do both and somehow or another managed to not do either one of them because I was being... I was overreaching. Especially not knowing how things are gonna go in the next couple of months with all the stuff and things happening. As I said, not getting into that because I, I don't want to... I don't want to be that kind of channel unless I actually make a channel for it where that is separate content. But given how things do or don't go, I just want to make sure we can hang on to what we got. You know? I would love to just be able to do that. My clown car horn. Your stability and comfort are a priority. Uh, stability... My comfort usually comes from stability. So as long as I can keep things stable and keep things progressively moving and things like that, I'm, I'm pretty chill. I can tell you, I gotta go to the grocery store on Friday. I'm not looking forward to that one. I am not looking forward to it. Gonna have to talk to Vixen about getting some of her chickens. <laughs> getting kind of stupid. Has anybody else noticed, just without getting too into all of the stuff and things, can anybody tell me like the price of chicken and chicken eggs in your area? Right now, I think ours are at, are at five dollars. You dropped 200 today, today on them, barely seem to get anything? Yeah. I have gone to the store and dropped $200 and barely came back with the necessities. You haven't bought eggs in a while? Oh. We buy eggs every time we go up there. You haven't bought eggs in a while? Mm. Darn, thank you for the frat prime sub! Last you looked, they were 360. Dar Phoenix 30 just resubscribed for 13 months. 360 is kind of. I, I don't know. I mean, I distinctly. I distinctly remember going to the store less than a year ago and eggs being a dollar for 20. for 12. Hmm. 
When you're talking about the wireless storage, is that part of the wasteland or a separate mod? It's, it's a separate mod. No clue, your wife buys them and you never look at them. Aww. See, I'm not a huge fan of eating eggs, but I can definitely mix some stuff up and once the garden gets going and I can have some spinach and tomatoes and stuff on the side. Basically, whatever I can do to eat an egg without actually tasting the egg, I don't mind. Or if I can drown them in cheese. I'm good. Eggs are pretty much like gas at this point. Fast rise, slow fall, exactly. Which is the reason why we're seriously considering getting chickens, which I, kn I know are not... They're not cheap, cheap to raise, but I think after I get my garden and everything going, since I'm already doing a garden and chickens are omnivores, I think we can manage it. And then get eggs. And maybe if I have some people around us that don't have chickens that want to purchase, you know, like some a dozen or so, we could probably do it that way. We get a little bit of money back for the feed for whenever the garden goes up. Plus, we're talking about putting in a greenhouse, so... I'll be able to do a little bit, assuming I don't kill everything that I try to grow, because... <laughs> half of the garden's already gone after the, the floodwaters. The uh, lettuce that I just put out, it looks so pathetic. Is so bad. It looks like it got squished, which it kind of did by the downpour. Is Bam just perma dead? <laughs> uh, no, I think he ran outside to the bathroom. Not ran outside to the bathroom. Ran outside for a break. Oh my gosh. Is there something you need? Money, dude. I wish to sell you the stuff and things. It's only those. Probably not worth the drive, but I mean, I haven't been outside of town to look at any of the other traders. Hmm. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, the easiest way that I have found to look for mods is just to go to look up the seven days to die mods and go to the actual mod site. I mean, Nexus does have mods for seven days, but it's mostly people's builds that are on Nexus so you can get pictures of the builds. Most of the mods that I find, I'm just looking on seven days to die mods. Just uh, make sure you filter for Alpha 19, uh, Alpha 20, and in some cases Alpha 19's mods will work, but not all the time. Ka-ching! Thanks! It depends buddy. on what it changes. Noki, how you doing? It's a new take on the fresh air. Oh my gosh, yeah. Alright, let's cruise around, get this town on the map. I actually have decided that in the Wasteland series, I'm just going to park my companions and never take them anywhere with me. They, it is basically noise pollution. I feel like whenever they start their ranting and everything, I feel like I'm interrupting them so I wind up not talking. Because they are ranting so much. And it's the same lines over and over and over again. And it's not even good lines. That door open. No, no, I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like I only get so many cuss words inside one of my videos before it demonetizes me, and them running behind me can get my video demonetized. Of course, I, d <clears throat> I don't think the sound difference... The, the way they gauge... From what I understand, the way they gauge whether or not you've got too many cuss words is, is that... The same bot that does the closed captions for you, if it senses a cuss word and it does the blank for your closed caption, it says that that is a cuss word. 
So, even if it's not actually a cuss word, like if you watch certain people's movies you'll or certain midi videos and stuff and you have the closed captions on, sometimes it'll blank out a word and it's like, wait, that was not a cuss word. Why did you blank that out? It's because the AI, whatever it's using, misunderstood what was said and thought it was a cuss word. So if that AI thinks you cussed, it can blank it out. And if it acquires enough of those, it demonetizes your video. <clears throat> And um, the good news is, is some of these background game volumes, like the background audio from the game, sometimes doesn't get picked up by the closed caption, which is the only thing saving my videos right now. So, enunciation is your key? Exactly. Enunciation is your key. Yep. <coughs> AI is killing creation. I think AI is an extension of creation. I mean, either embrace it or fight it, but either way it's going to happen. The difference is, is it's going to be like any other tool that a human makes. Is it going to be used for good or for evil? We shall find out. The only thing that we can do is possibly make sure that the coding and everything is uh, open to the public and therefore um, they have some sort of responsibility for what they put in there once they start doing like big AIs like Bing is talking about replacing their, their search engine with some sort of an AI thing and because it's going to be proprietary the coding is probably not going to be open to the public that could turn out kind of bad Oh my gosh, the lag through this area is bad. Okay, is that most of the town? Is that good? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, we can go home. Think or do, what you doing? It's going to happen, but it's flawed like an early release. Yes. It'll be flawed. It'll be messed up. It won't learn things right. Uh, people are going to mess up in the coding, mess up on what they're feeding it, mess up on whether or not they're using... Yeah, they're beta testing. It'll eventually get perfected and then, you know... Elon will do those little chips in people's heads and before long we'll just be able to access the internet and all of the search data. That is when things will get scary. I'm catching up on the video from today. Nice. Yeah, my videos are... Um, my videos are off sequence because of everything that happened on Monday. I'll get caught up again. Situated the whole nine yards. It'll take over the world. World. I don't know. It depends on how much control they give it. And the reason I say that is there's somebody out there that had a an AI that they were programming and then they gave the AI $30,000 to put into stocks and stuff to see what it could do with it. I haven't actually watched the video to find out how that turned out. Like the final verdict on that was whether or not it went well whether or not it went bad whether or not it actually turned a profit whether or not it turned into a Dink is due tipped $100 Dink or do, thank you so much thank you thank you I do very very much appreciate that um, whether or not the AI decides to turn into a dictator or something like that it's like, I have all of the money. You humans, I will take care of you, but you shall live here. You know, like, all of these 5,000 movies out there about it. Though I do find it surprising, as many movies as there are out there, about the fear of AI gaining control and everything, that people, despite this fear, have were just like, eh, we'll do it anyway. Though I do think some of the AI-generated art and everything looks really, really cool. I know a lot of artists are very, very upset about it, but it still looks cool. Well, see, my problem with painting is when you have the AI, 
blood or whatever, so my scalp will be fucked too. Mm. Is that your way of saying I'm talking too much again? No. no. <laughs> uh, you're an artist and you think it's hella cool? Yeah, I, I've seen two different sides of that. Some people are like, no, this is going to take artist jobs away. And other people are like, if you're an artist and you learn how to use this, you can in you can increase your art by 5,000 or something like that because you'll understand like composition and things like that. Whereas other people will be able to pick it up and create uh, okay-ish art might pass for art, but if an artist gets their hands on something like an AI-generated art and programs it their way, then the AI would, like, take it a step above what they could possibly do or something like that. Wait until it steals it to learn. Uh, uh, there's debate about whether or not it's actually stealing. The new... Uh, what is it called? There was one art program where they built it all and they did use online assets and they didn't ask for permission or anything. And they did it all and had it learn off of that art. And then they realized people got upset because they're taking copyright art and feeding it into something and then using it for new art. And when they realized it upset people, they went back to the bare bones of it and said, okay, we're not training it with this. You add in your own art and you train it. So that's all kind of up to the person who trains it. Now they took it and trained it on of not, co not copyright and royalty free and all that kind of art and made it do a different thing. So it, like I said, it's a tool just like any other tool a human has made. Whether or not people choose to use it for good or bad or how it turns out. It's just a, a way more complicated tool. Way, way more complicated. Okay, we've got a lot of money. I need to find some more towns so I can find some more traders. I can probably smoke some of these. That would be awesome, because we need like schematics and stuff like that. You have to share the waypoint. I am Legend. Uh, the only one movie has ever affected me with a feeling of dread for like two weeks, and which one was that? I am Legend. Weird fact. I... That was that was a messed up movie, and I very much liked that. As a matter of fact, that was like the only movie that my son felt emotionally attached to, because of all things that you do inside that thing, you get rid of... It's been out long enough for me to give a little bit of a spoiler, right? They... they the companion, I'll leave it like that. If you haven't watched it, I'm not going to spoil it. But the companion was taken. Oh, oh, that's pretty vague. And that that bothered him. And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, that was that's messed up. That is so messed up. Two thousand seven ish. Yeah, it was a good one. And what was really messed up is it was just supposed to be like a. A vaccine to get rid of cancer and it morphed. It's based on a book that is decades old, really? Oh no, Jason Voorhees is on the way! Mm. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also got some from Reaper. He's sharing them too. It's too realistic. It could happen. Yeah. How do you share with you if you're not an You can still share. You can share map markers with everybody or people on your team. I'm thirsty. Why don't you get hydrated? Thank you, thank you. Maybe after 16 years, it's time to watch it again. I don't know. There is a lot of research people do and stuff like that that you, you just wonder that after it sits inside the body for a while what it's going to do to the body. Not to sound like a tinfoil hat wearing person or nothing like that. It's just people get used to medicine doing the specific thing but, you know, 
you never know. After you introduce it out into the wild, you don't know exactly what's going to happen whenever you do that. And that's terrifying, the fact that they all, in that movie, they all thought that they were going to be curing cancer and then suddenly they turned it into a disease that was so easily passed. Huh? Five. Okay. I'm fighting zombies outside. Oh, there's another one. Dadgummit, he jumped and I completely missed him both. What are you doing? Why are you guys doing that? Are you rolling off the pole? That's not how you're supposed to do that. Oops. Okay. Who invited the conga line of zombies? Can anyone make rad removers? I don't think I can. Uh, let me check. No. Oh, jeez. Got in the boob? My bad. to assume there's actually a horde outside of the base. Our base. I had like a whole conga line. I, I might have drawn them all inside though. This is the after party? Maybe. <laughs> He got lost? <laughs> also, that means by the next horde, we need to get this base up to steel. They almost took out that freaking, uh... Actually, it might be me shooting it. Now that I think about it, it could be me shooting it. Oh, thank you. Or... I'm not sure which direction you were shooting, Bam. Were you shooting down to them on the stairs? No, uh, deer in the horde. Yes, that's coming up. Mm -hmm. yeah. It might have been our our ammo damage because I was shooting at the stairs too a couple of times as well. Instead of the zombies sitting there damaging, it might have been us shooting it. I didn't even think about that. I'm just willy nilly shooting the back of the base and just destroying the the way up. <laughs> My bad. Uh, you got half health again. Not if you see him first. Shit. I didn't see him first. He came up behind me and started hitting me. Come outside, you have a friend. A friend, maybe. Oh. Um, there are more zombies out here. A whole group of them. Over here. Hang on. We got we got zombies over here. I, I don't know who you're talking about, but give me a second. Like a whole herd of uh, Franks and stuff over here. Stop! Stop messing with the tree. They're behind the base, too. I thought there was a horde out. Is 
that all of them? Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Is great. She's so fussy. <laughs> Why is this a thing? What happens to cause this? It's always the same spot, exactly. What exactly about this is causing it? There. Let me see if I can... You gonna swing on me? There you go. Did that help? Nope. Right, I wonder if see if he can get stuck too. Oh man. I'm just wondering, because see they're stuck on their feet. I wonder if he would go up on his if he would be just stuck like this with no bottom half. Huh, no problem. I'm sure at some point we'll catch one by accident. Uh what was I oh yeah, I was gonna do the garden. Is evening time. Time to try and manufacture some foods. I hear someone being sassy. Hang on. Skylarking, thank you for the resub. Fifty-four just resubscribed for sixteen months. Well, sixteen what? moss of zombies and airdrop bears love it all. <laughs> zombies and airdrop bears. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to retry that challenge. One of these days. Oh, that bear though. That bear was doing things bears should not be able to do. Looking back on it now, it's funny. At the time, oh my god. It was funny too. <laughs> well, it might have been for certain folks to watch it. Uh, we could probably do what? Some more potatoes? Oh, let's see what we got. 15 potatoes, 19 corn. Um, I don't know, that seems like a, a decent enough number. Uh, we don't have... What am I missing? Aloe. We don't have any aloe up here. Or hops, for that matter. Um... I have no aloe leaves. Okay. Problem? <clears throat> I don't know. No. Chaplin's farm plots are gone again? What? What is happening to his farm plots? You set them down last week. Um, 
Um, is there anything else that's messed up? Like, is it doing a chunk reset? Are his farm plots on a different chunk and it's resetting? Chunk. Every... All of the areas that load in are in chunks. So if you're in a different chunk, even like uh, when the screamers come in, they come in because one chunk is heated to a certain amount. If you go over to another chunk and work in that chunk, then you're starting the heat map over and stuff. They're on top of his base right next to another row of plots, but if his base is in between two chunks, it could be messing up the load in for some reason and collapsing them. I say that only because I had a POI that I took over and it was sitting in between two chunks. It was like halfway in between two chunks. So when I would drive up on the base, half of the POI would spawn in, my base would spawn in, but the other half wouldn't be fully spawned in and actually collapsed my entire base one time. Any chance I could come there and take a look? Y'all are gonna have to give me a location. I'm going up onto the roof like I'm just gonna do a Superman. Everything under that area is fine. Um, you're at his base now. that so if I fall I don't die. weird. Uh, which one is it that shows th not that one? Just to let you folks know, the there we go. Um. It'd be a whole lot easier if it gave me the other menu, but it doesn't give you that in a server. Trader Joel's is now closed. Okay, let's do it this way. Is it this one? You mean a sneaky record? Uh, see, with this one, I, if I could use the other menu that it does not allow me to use in here, I don't know why it doesn't. I could tell this a whole lot easier. There's like, uh, what is it, F8. When you're in a private game or whatever, it allows you to hit it twice and it'll tell you information about the chunk, but in a server it won't allow you to, t to use it. I don't know why. Oh, maybe this will work. Um, yeah, because I can move while I'm doing it. That's That's better. Why my own? Does it actually give me a chunk name though? Hmm. There's a stability issue in this build for some reason. Hang on, uh, can I recalculate it? No. Yeah, there's, there's like a... Okay, I'm gonna guess without going underground, there's an underground portion of this. 
But like this whole half back here, I don't know that this actually has anything to do with them just disappearing, but it looks like it's not stabilized. Yeah, I'm not going to poke my head around in there because I don't know what he's... He's running around in a skirt with his knickers up or nothing like that. Let's let's not go peeking at what's going on underground. It it does look like there might be a stability issue, so I would definitely look into that. But I can do how many farm plots was it? See, I've got the thing in the way. Uh, what number was that one? Nope, not that one. That one. Six and corn seeds. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would support this area before before putting the farm plots back up if I were you. I, that's the only thing I can think of that would be causing that. Okay. Uh, oh, where? Oh, where is whom? There we go. That's okay. We need to turn that off. Uh, all right, just for all of you to know, what I did right there was admin access to try and help them out. Uh, there are, seven days does seven days things, and sometimes there are serious issues that have to be fixed with the game. Uh, wait, uh, not F9. Not you. He's not open. No. Nope, not that one. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on. I was saying, why can't I get out of that? Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, and then it's F8. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes there are serious issues. Well, a lot of times. So if you're thinking about getting a server or something like that, I would definitely look into commands because you're probably going to need them more often than not. People's whole bases could get swallowed up at times. It happens. It's a no problem. Now your base is exposed. Yeah, now I've seen it. No, but server knowledge and character knowledge. Ma'am, if you could get back up here, please. Stop your shenanigans. I have to go cook the foods. I haven't found yours, no. Heck, I just now started leaving my base. I think next time we do a PvP server, it's going to be like level 100. I don't know how you guys managed to get out of your area and do so much catastrophe. Namely, shooting me in the butt several times. I have no idea how you guys did it. I, I am still so lost. Gif, 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 gif. There we go. I can find you. Uh, steak and potatoes, chili dogs, nice. Am I the only one who ever watches people, other people play, and when you see them throw out the corn meal, you're like... I mean, you kind of get it, but at the same time, if you turn it into cornbread and make it into another meal, it's a pretty decent meal. <laughs> Well, I've seen other people, not just him. He does it for the meme. And I guess now that he started doing it and it's his meme, he can't stop doing it. But it's like because he does it for a meme, nobody else uses it. And it's like, but that is... I, use shit out of food, I do food. too. I hold on. If I would rather drop lots of other stuff than cornmeal because it will eventually make it into a food, you know? Of course, then again, there's a lot of people who will go on and loot a house and just immediately eat all of the food instead of trying to take any back home and make something better into it. But I think that has more to do with I always bring everything back because I might be able to craft it into something better. 
sure I got some zombies coming. That might be the reason why they're going to make it harder for the food situation in the next alpha because people can walk into a building, fill themselves up, go to the vending machine, fill themselves up. It's not truly an apocalypse if you're not having to struggle to eat. But that's because people aren't utilizing the full eating system. I think what they should do instead of, not necessarily instead of, but in conjunction with that, take your food, the second tier of food, and give it abilities along with it, like maybe base stat ads or something like that, would be really good. Cornbread and beans, oh man, that would be so good. You throw nothing, you don't even smelt glass. I drop glass just because I've accidentally eaten it before and died. I don't like having it in my pocket. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The glass eating was awesome. <laughs> that was not the best way to find out that that happens. Especially when it's the exact same button you're using to drop everything else and suddenly you're just snacking on glass. It's like, wait, what happened? Why is that even an option? Uh, it's the lever action rifle. That's pretty good. Mm. I have three available points. What the hell is I doing with this character? Um. I have no idea. I think I was just basically attempting to try and make a uh, a PvP build while still being able to still survive a horde night. Um, Sound like Eve. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, okay. Keep going that route, I guess. I think tomorrow I need to go on some, some trips and stuff. Tomorrow, tomorrow. You had it on your toolbar. Yeah, but I mean, you can you can have these on your toolbar and they do one thing. You can have this on your tool toolbar and it does a different thing. And you can have these in a toolbar and it does this. Why would you just assume that the glass inside the toolbar, even though you are holding it, that your character would just go? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ah, thank you. I think I can make any of those. Nope. Okay. I need a higher tier SMG. Good thing there's no bleach in the game, or Tide Pods for that matter. You know it's funny. <laughs> I'll have to take your word for it because you didn't finish the sentence. That's weird. Brass. Um, ah, casings.
Mm -hmm. I have been slacking on putting these things in here. I'm gonna need you to do uh, some stretches now. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You look thirsty. Why don't you get hydrated? Oh, thank you all. Same in Bioshock when you just inject yourself. Yeah, you just walk into a whole new area, completely new to everything that's going on. And just pick it up and inject yourself. Same with Prey. Even though apparently your character is supposed to kind of know what's going on eventually. Uh, if you happen to come across some more bellows, can I, can I make some bellows? And check to see if you can make bellows. By typing it in to see if you can. Okay. Okay, I can go ahead and make that. So that's how stuff and things going. I had somebody, huh? Uh, over there in the the box by the stairs. I don't think I have any more motors. I put them down there in the generator. Okay. Um. I asked somebody who, some for some reason or another, was spelunking back in my deeper files of series past, asked me if I ever did a full-on uh, Typhon run for Prey. And I was like, you know what? I actually intended to go back and play the full Typhon run. Basically, in my first playthrough, I only took regular abilities. I didn't take any Typhon abilities. I was going to go back and play another Dinkers episode. Do gifted Seth Thank you! Thank you so much for the gifted sub! Dinkers underscore do gifted three months of tier one to Seth 985. Wow. They've gifted 233 months in the channel. Dang, I'm Dinker Do. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, sh okay, gotcha. <laughs> um, I had people asking me whether or not I was ever going to go back and do that playthrough. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's something I'll pick up this this year because I won't have to do like a hundred percent playthrough like I tried to do before. Little known fact, you can't 100% that game because one of the things that you need is behind a locked door that they never put a key card into the game for. I don't know whether or not they ever did an update to fix it. Last I heard, they had not. I went around for a long time looking for that key card too. So I finally gave up and looked up a tutorial and come to find out, there's no key card for it. So I wouldn't have to go through and do a, a hundred percent. So like the Elder Scrolls Daggerfall? I did not play that one. I don't know. Is there a particular thing that you can't do because it doesn't have all of the stuff? Like a key card or, or a key to get into a specific area? Okay, food has been crafted. What else did I need to do? The main quest was bugged. In Fallout, some of the there are particular quests that can actually bug out, especially if you don't do the Fallout 4 patch. And even then, after you do the Fallout 4 patch, sometimes the quests can still get bugged, like the uh, was it the railroad quest that can get bugged, depending on which way you do it. Do we have things downstairs again? Okay. Dinkers underscore do just gifted one subs. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gifted sub. Dinkers underscore do just gifted one subs. Thank you, Dinker Doo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, there was there was a Karen walking through. I actually think I probably got more zombies attracted to the area. Yeah, so can technically beat the game. All you have factions. Al hold on. You can technically beat the game and have all of the factions alive except the Institute by messing with the how and when you take certain quests. Yeah, but by taking certain quests in a particular order you can actually lock yourself out of other quests, which is not supposed to happen. 
and depending on the order, you can bug it to where you can't finish certain quest lines. Like, you can make it to where you can't do a particular quest grouping if you go too far in another faction's quests. The thing is, it doesn't actually give you a warning, whereas, like, Morrowind, if you do something stupid... <laughs> you get a froze. What? Oh. They, they're doing the thing. Um... In Morrowind, if you kill off a character that you need for the main story, it will let you know that you are fixing to kill a main character. So you got a bad guy coming out behind you? Behind you? Mm -hmm. um, before you accidentally kill, like, Vivek, it will let you know if you do this, you're not going to be able to finish something. Uh, in Fallout, it gears you towards a certain quests and make you feel like you need to hurry up and do it. What it doesn't tell you is, is by doing this, you're locking yourself out of doing this group's main storyline, and it doesn't give you a warning that it's supposed to happen. I kind of feel like that's actually a good thing. I mean, because technically... In Morrowind, it doesn't stop you from doing it. You just have to deal with the consequences, which is kind of role-playing in itself. Yeah, the decisions matter. So, I mean, you could technically go in there and... In Fallout 3, you could blow up Megaton. It's a bad idea. But you can do it. So... It's good she didn't notice. Are you tra guys trying to kill me right now? <laughs> also, it's about that time, love bugs. <laughs> Thank you, Gray. <laughs> you just unfriended. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't figure you would keep me on there. I mean, I am. I'm doing admin stuff and things. It's fine. I can separate. If I could cover that, if I could put the fog of war back over the area, I would. But I can't actually do that. We need clay in here. There we go. And then we need... We def, we definitely need to work oh, on the field production. I, uh, this. Motorcycle in the shop. I actually better go do it. So thank you for Gray, but she is... I love bugs. He said love bugs. Kind of. He was calling both of us his love bugs. <laughs> he was including it. Which I thought was great. It's cute. That's adorbs. It really is. Um let's do that. Y'all remember the movie Love Bug? Some of y'all probably know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna go over here and go to my traitor. The traitor? Yes. Why did you have to come up here to do that? Because I have to go get. I was talking, she decided to get up here and do her bath. Right next to me. Uh, okay, I just did the gas in here. Do I have the stuff to make more... gunpowder? I am out of coal. Do I have a coal mine? Hmm? What? Oh. I'm getting out here. I'm Thought we were going out to do stuff and things? No, I wasn't planning on going out to do stuff and things. I mean, yeah, I plan on doing, uh, looking for, uh, I needed the traders because there's a couple of books I'm hunting. But, yeah. I I'm not planning on staying on here extra. I have got uh, a project I'm working on. And I'm going to take that time to work on the project. And just so you guys know, should you d decide to go fishing looking for ideas about what said project is, no, I'm not giving you any ideas. I know what it is. How much y'all going to give me to? Shut your face hole. 
Is he not fucking open yet? I know, he doesn't open until 6.05. I don't know why they have it to where it's at 6.05, but that's when it is. No, I still haven't got the mod for it. I have not done that yet. Not very accurate. There we go. Not accurate. Top secret. It's not just top secret, but it's something I am working on from the heart that I want to be able to surprise people with. And should the surprise get ruined, it's going to be heartbreaking. Because I've actually been planning it for a very, very long time. And no worries, there will be an announcement about it. It won't come out exactly when I want it to come out, but there will be an announcement soon about what it is so you guys can build up some anticipation for when it comes out. But the announcement's not going to happen until a specific time. I already know when the announcement's coming. And then I'm going to make the... Uh, I'm going to do a different one. Like I would. What's your announcement going to be? Okay. Uh, leading up to the announcement, there will be clues in certain videos. But I'm not going to tell you what to look for as far as the clues. You guys are just going to figure that out. A trader open 24-7. What sorcery is this? They could go full R and RPG and have them all have different schedules because they have different sleeping things. Like one's a night owl. <laughs> the other one's awake for like two hours because they sleep all daggum day. They get up for two hours, they eat, they go to the bathroom, and then they go back to sleep. That's their sleep schedule. Full RPG. <laughs> Who's fussing at me? I I'm trying to I'm trying to show the cat. She's over here for attention. Oh, there you are. Okay, now wait. She's such a koala of a cat. Are you baking cookies for chat? Hey, I want to know this. Are, are we baking cookies? Who's baking cookies? Bob looks like he's been up all night. Yeah, what happens if, like, one of them's got a gambling problem? You come in there in the middle of the night at the wrong time, you just happen to sneak over the wall or something like that, and they're getting smacked around by their bookie? <laughs> I should make mods. <laughs> There's, like, different random events that could happen in the world would be really, really nice. Of course, I don't think the engine would be able to handle it. You can bake cookies? Awesome. I haven't made cookies in forever. I usually make brownies. Brownies are easier. Cookies are hard to get just the right, you know, texture for them. They're either almost burnt or runny. Rarely ever do I get them the right way. You make them both? Nice. See, he likes... Well, actually, on cookies, we both like chewy cookies. But whenever it comes to brownies, I like the edges of the brownies, and he likes the chewy center of the brownies. Dude, what are you doing? I'm talking to Thick. He's over there staring. He's eyeballing the stairs. Like, he's thinking about doing shenanigans. Don't do the things. It's already broken because the banshee came in there just storming through the stuff. I use box ready, but you swap the oil with applesauce? Does that work? Does it affect the flavor at all? Does it make it better? I have never tried that. I've heard about people using applesauce in place of stuff before. Oh, 
apparently there was a tour that was going on and I was not notified. Yeah, I said thick. I think it's been a month. It's been longer than a month. Yeah, it's been a, over a month. All right, so why is a poker coat different than other poker coats? Uh, I didn't know that any were. They have different stats? I know some clothes can have different stats. I didn't know puffer clothes can have different stats. That one's a 23 point six. Uh huh. And two four. Huh? Okay, okay. I mean, all of the other clothes have got a little bit of a variance on them. I was not even paying attention to the puffer coat because I usually don't wear the puffer coat. Your brownies are gooey, cakeish with good edges. That sounds good. Ma'am. All right, I'm gonna call it right there, right now. Yeah, I'm gonna give everybody till eight o'clock to go and wrap up unless somebody is in a mission. Sorry, eight thirty. No, uh, on the game. Oh. Is there anybody in a mission? I am not. Anyway. I appreciate y'all for being here, and um, you will see me in the uh, next video. Hold on, down there, I'm sure Yeah. Alright, bye. That's what applesauce does to brownies. Um, it does, but it does not affect the taste, but they're softer. I'm gonna have to try that. That seems like a, hot, a lot healthy, that's a healthier way of making brownies. Not that brownies are healthy, but any chance of making them a little less unhealthy would be awesome. Oh, I've also been watching for the, uh, is it, what was his name? Quake? I think he's almost got all of the weapons with their proper scopes done. That mod looks really, really good. You know, whenever you use your scope on your weapon, it blacks out the entire screen. Uh, the way he's doing it, he's making it to where you can actually see the outside. Hey, I was doing a demonstration, sir. Um... He's trying to fix all the scopes where, wherever you... Whoa. That was impulsive. I do apologize. My bad. I just took out his undercarriage. Yes, should be done by 8, though. Okay. Huh? Uh, I'm waiting on people to finish missions. I need to put like a, I don't know, a box in here for, you know, the admission of, what the heck is going on with your foot? Admission for all the tours? Oh, ah. Good heavens. I got a whole crew coming in again. Dang it. It's okay. Just as soon as everybody's out, I'll do the kill all and I won't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna get some experience while I can. Anybody? Is there no one else? Picking up my bike. <laughs> you can do healthy brownies. You don't like them, but it can be done. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to do... Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Um, 
I do understand that if you're eating a brownie, the intention is to not eat something healthy. So just covering up and saying, hey, I'm going to make this as healthy as I possibly can. No, nah, just go ahead and eat the brownie and enjoy it. If you make it healthy and you don't actually enjoy the eating of it, you're just going to crave another brownie. You could just save the time, just eat one brownie. Don't resist, resist, eat something healthy, resist, 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 and then eat a pot of, or a plate of brownies. That's where the problem comes in. <laughs> I've been there. Better to eat the small portion whenever you crave it than to wait and wait and deny and deny and then gouge on it. Or binge on it. Is it gouge? It's binge? What? The term I'm thinking of. What'd you say? Whenever you eat a whole lot of something, that's binging, right? Yes. Okay. Gouging is like whenever you're poking something. Yeah. Carrot brownies? That that doesn't sound okay. You like carrot cake? Yeah, I like carrot cake. Like but carrot a carrot brownie? brownie? Yeah. Chocolate and carrots? Who, who said it had to be chocolate? Brownie. I brownie. <laughs> just described your life hey I, i've been there a lot which is the reason why i constantly tell myself that it's it is a uh it is an ongoing mission basically beets go well with chocolate maybe It can be done, but I don't know what the carrot part replaces. I don't know. I, th I think if I was going to go that route, I'd just eat a carrot cake. I love some carrot cake. I like most kinds of cake. I do not like coconut on any cake. Ever. Ever. Dry coconut is like fingernails. I can't eat fingernails. I'm not eating dry coconut. I probably just ruined it for somebody. You're welcome. <laughs> I can eat a fresh coconut, not a dry coconut. That's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Honestly, beetroot not pickled. I've never actually tried a beet that wasn't pickled. You love coconut, thanks. <laughs> now the next time you eat it, it's really gonna mess you up. You'll be thinking about me as like, ah, oh, dadgummit, Liz. Now I can't eat this. But I will tell you, I love cracking up with a coconut and eating that. That's, that's good as hell. there in sync over there doing the very intense stomp. What is that? Look at that. Lift. Lift. Hang on, we're going to the military. Lift. Right. Right. Oh, lift. Lift. <laughs> They're actually keeping time with it. It's great. Excuse me. We're going to the military. Oh, I got their attention. What happened? Oh, they froze because somebody spawned in. No, they're out of sync! Nah, it just messed it up. The lag messed them up. Dunk. Oh well. They had it for like five seconds. Had your fill of marching. My knee is bad. Too bad to march anymore. Yeah, I messed up my knee. That you will do. That is a lot of marching. I've never walked so much in my li entire life. Not even necessarily walking. It's the marching. With the backpack. Full Kevlar. Awesome. Mm-mm. We still have two. I guess they're doing a mission. 
Last two winters, every time it gets cold, your left knee starts to buckle off underneath you. Yep, they can do that. I've done a whole lot of, I don't, I don't guess you could say maintenance to it, but a whole lot of building up of those uh, ligaments and everything since then. I mean, like, a lot of work trying to get that knee working back properly. It wasn't necessarily the knee, it was the ligament behind... Okay, your knee goes like this. It's the ligament that's back behind here along one side that would always catch and my knee would buckle. That's what happened to mine. So it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the knee itself. It was the ligament behind the knee. I think I explained that pretty well. Alright, uh, anyway. Fairly certain it's your cartilage, unfortunately. Yeah, my sister had to have her cartilage. Uh, not exactly what they did. Part of the cartilage pulled away and they had to go into her knee and cut the cartilage off. There was other cartilage there, but this particular cartilage was... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. They explained it, but I was hearing it third hand because of hearing it from Sarah and them. So I don't know exactly how it was, but a piece of it had broken off and was actually just kind of moving around in there. So they went in there and cut it off. And then she was in a cast for a while. As far as I can tell, she's gotten back on her legs again, you know, just fine. I don't know. Okay. You had a knee replacement at 26. That hurts. And you have no cartilage left in your knees anymore. Ouch. I'm gonna have to protect my knees. You do a fine job of that. Yeah, I caught that in you, Endo. Thanks. <laughs> I do appreciate the effort at making that dirty. Bravo. Oh, I, I didn't mean to capitalize all that. What are you doing? Hey guys, five guys. I love you, man. Five guys. No. You have it? No. Do you want some? Five guys? No. Yeah. Why not? One's more than enough. I'm talking about cheeseburger place, five guys. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, payback. Got him. No fight. No fight club. <laughs> Who said it? Let me guess, Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Five Guys is a restaurant. <laughs> ah, the Five Guys restaurant. That one. All right. Oh shit. I don't know. What would you equate their their food to? Um, hmm. home cook, steak, grill, and then you go around and you take, they, it's like a salad bar. Mm -hmm. You get your burger, you put whatever the hell else you want on the sandwich. That sounds good. Yeah. It's a big. So when are we going? Big burger. When you want to. Whenever. Mm -hmm. Where's the closest one? <laughs> You don't burn problems? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> They're expensive. Hey, but just for once, you know, going out for something. I mean, they're not as bad as... They're about as expensive as Hardee's. Ah, Hardee's is pretty expensive. It's like a $12 burger. Or has it gone up since then? Oh, no, it's about... Well, my mom's burger's 10 something. Oh. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna find out if my motorcycle's fixed or not. Yeah, There's a few up near St. Louis where you live, but they didn't exist in Ho Oklahoma where you're from. Well, they got some in Dallas. Hmm. 
Hello, Dirty Deans, how you doing? PvP on this game? I've got enough problems. Yeah, the PvP is kind of a loose thing. Uh, basically, just a few times every now and then, people will get a hair and decide to go after somebody. We're not actively going after each other all the time. And a lot of us group up just so we'll have the ability to do stuff and things. Not to mention, you can only engage in PvP, shoot anybody, or have anybody shoot you after level 20. Though the next server, I think we're going to up that to level 100 to keep everybody from losing too much experience whilst they're trying to get their horde base situated. Especially if we're going to have a Banshee Queen coming after a staring horde. Raper slowly. <laughs> uh... Just don't sneak up on me, man. It's PvP. Just don't <laughs> okay. Uh... If I see a forehead, it says Reaper. I'm shooting the shit out of you. It's <laughs> insane. Oh, Dad got it. Hold on. What am I doing? Show your head on my and bleed. Okay, I did it. It didn't kill anything, though. Maybe I've actually been really good about keeping my area cleared out. Nice. Oh, me so scared. <laughs> Alrighty, what we're gonna do is we're fixing to raid somebody, so if you want to stick around for the raid, and I will see you guys next Next time we stream, which is tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be playing, I think Phasmo is going to be tomorrow, and then the next week is going to be Sons of the Forest. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys next time. You have a wonderful day, wonderful night, and you stay shiny.